Seppi, home to Kerala's serene backwaters and lazing houseboats. This is Relaxation Central, where you leave the hustle on a hammock, a place of peace and quiet. But not today. If you thought that I was in an Indian cricket match, you'd be wrong, because I'm in Kerala at the annual Nauru Boat Race! I loved this piece. This really satisfied my travel bug, especially because I have been wanting to go to one of India's great festivals, and this truly gave me that experience in a playful way, in an interactive way, and in a very immersive way from the colors, the sights and sounds, what the preparations are to put on one of these giant festivals and what some of the traditions and meanings are behind them, I thought was really lovely. And I just appreciated how open and welcoming the the people there were in guiding him and then ultimately us through this experience. But it just really was... Uh, lovely because there's a nice movement to the pace as well where there's always something new it felt like we were on almost a tour where there was something different every moment and I just thought this was brilliantly executed gorgeous cinematography excellent pacing and just the right amount of commentary to to keep us in have some little cheeky moments in the humor of of it and it just felt like I was traveling with a good friend it felt like a such a interesting curious and insightful and passionate um, look into um, the tradition of this Indian festival. Uh, it started immediately engaging with such uh, rhythmic editing, powerful, beautiful images and uh, very snappy transitions. It really gave you the feel uh, of um, the enthusiasm that is put into this tradition. Um, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. Again, in, uh, it gives you the insight into the personal stories of the people involved in the festival, um, the artists, and the history of Indian in general. Um, yeah, it was a very fun watch. Uh, I never knew about this uh, festival, um, so it felt like a really good insight. An abundance of uh, just everything, of color and fervor and uh, just good time. It was a real treat to be taken into uh, the, the culture there in India around these festivals and uh, just really soak in it. This documentary offered just, yeah, so much more than just a glimpse, like a real full picture um, of, of what those are like. And I thought it was just fantastic. It put together really well. A um, lot of, uh, you know, just dynamic flow to it. Good uh, contrast between... Um, the shots and uh, just really kept things moving really well. I'll say um, it all felt um, yeah, just really exciting, exhilarating. Like you wanted to be there, make you want to be there, and it honestly made you feel like you were there, um, experiencing it uh, as close as you possibly can through a screen. Anyway, um, yeah. So I was really just delighted with the whole thing. This was beautifully shot, beautifully hosted by the host. Um, I think his name is Gary Mehigan. <laughs> Hope I'm not butchering that name. Um, just loved his energy, the vitality he had throughout, and the passion for what he does. It was just so obvious he was having a blast. And being able to go do all these things with, with the guys in the festival, um, you know, getting on that boat, it, it was really cool and exciting. And I was, like, looking forward to the really neat. Um it was very informative. Of course, all the technical stuff was A+. Plus. Just the whole thing, A+. Plus. Um, I, it kept me involved from the very beginning to the very end, and I just wanted more. wanted to see more of these and see the food and the preparation and the costumes and the colors. It was just so beautifully done and love the colors, love just the vitality of this documentary. It's just beautiful cinematography and camera work. Um, just really great length and the setup and the pacing, um, and the scenes were just wonderful.